Another Chinese spy balloon has been spotted over Latin America. This comes a day after a suspected spy balloon from China was spotted over Montana yesterday. You're taking a look at images of the first balloon there. And both sightings have drawn worldwide attention. KITV 4 Shanila Kabir today spoke to an international relations expert at the East West Center to find out if we should be concerned. A Chinese weather balloon was spotted flying over the continental U.S. and there was discussion about potentially shooting it down. Here at the East West Center, people involved in international relations say this balloon's purpose is to gather data. In no case is the, the Chinese balloon uh, a, a threat or a danger in any way. It's, it's not designed to, to harm people. It's, it's the Chinese say it's for uh, gathering scientific data. Uh, uh, you know, more uh, nefarious interpretation would be that it's a, a spy balloon. The Chinese government confirmed the balloon is theirs. They say the balloon drastically got off course and traveled here accidentally. But senior fellow Denny Roy has two theories. The Chinese, before an important meeting with the U.S. Secretary of State at a time when they want to improve relations with the United States would be very careful not to do something like this. And uh, another theory would be that that uh, perhaps the, the Chinese are in, in intentionally uh, humiliating the United States to uh, to demonstrate the upper hand before they go into negotiations. Roy says the major question is, what kind of scientific data is the balloon collecting if it's not for military reasons? It's a it's a great intelligence operation, if you will, although they got caught. A balloon is low enough to collect against cell phone communications, uh, VHF, UHF, uh, sort of communications a satellite would have a challenge collecting unless they were very high powered. So it looks like they're trying to get detailed information. Although shooting the balloon down was considered temporarily, he believes the U.S. government should find a safe way to capture the balloon, examine it and test it to see if it works the way the Chinese government claims. Shanila Kabir, KITV4 Island News.